Welcome to the Diligent Minds Podcast, where you get practical steps to help you become the best version of yourself and achieve your goals. I'm your host, Dorian Jones. Let's get into it. What's going on, Diligent Minds community? Happy Monday to you. If you're listening to this when it comes out, I'd like to welcome all my new listeners. I appreciate you for choosing me out of all the options that you had and to all the returning listeners. Thank you. Everyone listen to this on Apple Podcasts. Don't forget to leave a rating and review. It helps me grow the podcast. So I truly appreciate that. Today, we're going to talk all about the layers of a relationship. We're going to talk about the layers of the relationship and how to handle it and how you can manage these things so that they can be more beneficial, not just to you, but to the other party as well. But before we dive into that, I want to leave you with a daily tip. And this tip is the self-work that you do on yourself is the most important. You know, just taking a break from your norm and do the work on yourself that's needed. Taking the time to think about what it is that you want and what it is that you need at this point in your life. Even addressing the things that you've been neglecting within. Doing the work can be you finally picking up a new habit, going to therapy, or facing your fears and traumas that you've been avoiding. Doing the work allows you to lift the weight off your shoulder and start fresh in some cases. Think about the deferred maintenance that you may have and make it a point to address some of them. The new and better version of you will love it. So I want to ask you with this daily tip, focus on that self-work that you need to do, that thing that you've been putting off, things you said you wanted to do for the past months, past years, weeks. Start to do that thing, whatever it is, small, big, do something that you can handle, something that you know is going to benefit you and your future self. It's time to dive into this episode talking all about those relationships. First, we need to illustrate what these relationships look like. So look at your relationships as a target. You know, you got the bullseye in the middle and what you can call your inner circle. And then you have your two outer layers. Let me say this. No layer is more important than the next layer. I don't want you thinking that your bullseye is the most important and then the other ones aren't that important. We're going to talk about that more later in the episode. We don't think about our relationships as layers, though. Most of the time we just say a person is in or outside of our circle or I don't really mess with them like that or they're not beneficial to me or their relationship isn't important to me when in reality everyone serves a different purpose in our lives and we set ourselves up for disappointment by setting expectations too high for people who aren't that close to us or who don't need expectations to be set on them in the first place you have to remember that relationships are a two-way street it's a give and take relationship it's something where you give something they give back or vice versa you can't be the only one giving and not receiving Or you can't be the only one receiving and not giving. So as we think about our relationships that we have in our life, the ones that we developed over years, whether it's new or whether it's lifelong, do an assessment of it and think about the requirements at this point in your life. What do you need from your relationships at this point in your journey? Do you need people around you that will inspire and motivate you? Or do you need people around you that will help you get more social? It's different for everyone and there's no right or wrong answers and you may need a balance of the two. At this current moment, who's in your friend circle? It doesn't matter which layer they land on. Swapping out these friends is not a bad thing, but you must learn to communicate and how to not be selfish and only think about your needs. Because sometimes we only think about what it is that we need or what it is that we want. And we don't think about the other parties as well that's giving us our needs or our wants. Are we fulfilling them as well? Are we feeding into them? Because if you're not, then you may be draining. You may be an anchor in that life, which we talked about in the previous episode. If you didn't check that one out, go back and check out the episode talking all about those anchors that are in our lives. Because we can be an anchor as well. Remember that relationships work two ways and you can't always be on the receiving end. What kind of friend are you being to those around you and what are you offering them? Especially if they offer you everything that you need and you value the relationship, you value the friendship. What is it that you're giving them? How can you support this person that's giving to you everything that you need? Are you giving them the things that they need? Ask them, how can I help you? How can I better help the person that you are, the person that you want to become? Or if you're a, per- if you're a friend of them, then you may even know what it, is that, what it is that they need. So let's visualize your circle. Your inner circle are the ones you speak with the most. They know your secrets and they're the first ones you'll call if something goes down. Right behind us, we have our first layer. You speak with them a few times a week. The relationship isn't bad, but you are on two different journeys and you come together when the time is right. Your relationship is strong, but not as strong as your inner layer. The last layer are those that you may reach out to every now and then just to catch up, just to check on each other, see how they doing or they see how you doing. 
You know, you're great friends, but you don't talk often. You may say, let's get together sometimes, but neither of you push to make it happen. And if it does happen, though, it's all smiles. It's all love. And it feels good to see one another. And you may have more friends that are within this zone. The further you get out of your inner circle, the more friends that you may have or the more relationships you may have. These relationships may interchange, though. Somebody on your outer circle may become part of your inner circle and vice versa. So if you see people that's in your inner circle right now, they may fall into one of the outer layers for a certain stage of your life. The next thing you know, they're back in your inner circle. And the same goes for the ones that are on the outer circles as well. Wherever people stand on your layers, make sure that it's healthy. Make sure it's a balanced relationship. You both have to put effort into making a relationship flourish. If you don't, you may become resentful and fall out with good people. Communicate your expectations and keep a great line of communication open between the two of you so that there is something that you both understand. So that there's some understanding between the two of you of, of what you expect or what this relationship is. Because if one thinks it's something else and it's not what the other person may think it is, then it's not going to be uh, something that's going to grow. It's not going to be a healthy relationship. It's not going to be a long lasting relationship that, that you can say, I love this friendship or I love this relationship in general. The relationships we develop are significant to the social aspect of our life. This will feed us that balance that we need. Having people you can relate to and I understand you will help you as you go through the tough times and moments where you feel alone or uncertain. Think about the relationships you have. Which ones need a revamp or just need to make an exit? Remember that they may come back. You're not closing the door, but this train must leave the station. You can't just sit there with the door open all the time with people exiting and entering as they please. Now you got to close that door and you got to take off. And then other people that's on the outside, they'll catch up if they need to get back in. And if not, that's OK. There's no love lost. Even people that's outside of your circle of friends or outside of your circle of relationships is no love lost unless you just completely cut that out. And, you know, the relationships that just that just don't have a future at all. You know that. So I want you to think about the ones that you do have right now and start to put them on different layers. And when you put them in different layers, start to set expectations for each layer. Like what are your expectations for the people in your inner circle? What is it that you require from them and what is it that you're going to give to them back in return? And the same with your first layer and your second layer. So start to map out your your relationships and identify where everyone in your life stands right now, because not everybody's in your inner circle. Not everybody's on that first layer or that second layer. So you doing that is going to be healthy for you and is going to help you not set yourself up for disappointment anymore or not set yourself up for expectations that won't be met. So I want you to go ahead and reevaluate everything in your life, everyone in your life and place them where they need to go. Don't forget to check out all the links down in the show notes. We have everything there. I'm actually taking a break from social media right now, but you can still go check everything out. The posts are still there. The page is still up. I'm just taking a break and I won't be posting on. Check out the book everywhere right now. You have it on Audible. You have it on my website and you also have it on Amazon. So click the links down below to get your copy today. Go ahead and enjoy your day. And remember, everybody has greatness within, even you.